Okay. I think now I'm actually working now. Sorry about that. Um, yes, hi. My name is JJ Asgar, and I'm a developer advocate for the IBM Cloud. Uh, today, I am going to be uh, doing some Kubernetes work uh, with something called External DNS and um, Cert Manager. My goal is to first get external DNS working. Um, I used to, uh, for a while ago, we got it working and um, I recently revisited it and I wasn't very confident with it. So I'm gonna spend this time trying to get it up and working again. And then um, after doing that, I'm gonna create an Nginx pod and then see that it goes to like nginx.asgarlabs.io to see if that works how I wanted it to. And then um, after that, uh, I will uh, try to do a cert manager in front of it and then do nginx.asgarlabs.io uh, with HTTPS uh, to see if that works too using um, uh, uh, Let's Encrypt search. So um, this is just going to be kind of an adventure for myself to learn and figure it out. And then I'm going to record it like I always do or stream it now. And then hopefully um, this will be good for uh, history later and or you can actually see how all this comes together. Uh, if you don't know, on the IBM Cloud, you do get an ingress domain, um, but it's usually a really, really, really long URL. And um, in the real world, you've, it's unlikely you'd use that URL. Um, you'd actually use nginx.yourcompany or whatever. So in theory, um, if you figure out, if you take what I learned from here about using external DNS, you can do this with Route 53 or Cloud DNS or whatever external DNS provider you have. So you could have, you know, subdomains off of your main URL, which will make life a little bit easier. Okay, so I think I fixed my um, uh, screen share. So we should now be able to see. Uh, yes, perfect. Um, so this is, uh, it's from the SIGs. Um, it's called external DNS. Uh, if you just github.com external SIGs to external DNS. Uh, I, I have a, um, I use a DNS provider called DN Simple. Um, I really do like them, uh, not only because I know they're, uh, I've met them before, the actual team, but um, their product is actually quite good. It, it really does make DN simple or DNS really simple um, and straightforward. There's a lot of really awesome automation around it too. So if you have a chance, um, give, them, give them a college try. Uh, I, you will not be disappointed. Okay, so I have this Kubernetes cluster right here. Okay, get nodes to show what's inside of it, which it should be nothing. There we go. And then K okay, get pods. And as you see, there's no default, nothing in the default namespace. And if I do NS for namespaces, as you can see, it's a pretty bare bones um, cluster. There's very few things. There's a monitoring uh, namespace, which has some um, uh, Prometheus monitoring inside of it, which is for a later date. And then um, this runner's namespace is for uh, some GitHub, GitHub runners, um, which I could show off later. But uh, we're going to be playing with DNS. So what we need to do first is create a namespace. So I'm going to do k create, k create, ah, k create ns. Um, Oh, it's just DNS um, because it's going to be both the DNS things inside of it, which is what we need. Then I'm going to try change change over to uh, DNS here. So now I can do k get pods, and we should see nothing inside of DNS. Perfect. Um, the actual uh, here's the logo for external DNS, by the way. Um, as it says, it just changes everything around. We are going to be doing DN simple, as you see here. Um, what we need to do is we have our back. So we need to grab this manifest, which creates a service account called external DNS. Um, it creates a cluster role with all those rights in front of it. Um, and then it creates a cluster role binding um, to be able to see it. And then it creates a deployment of external DNS with the version. I don't know if that's the newest version. Um, I'd be curious. 174, this is 173. Um, my gut tells me I should change this. 
Uh, so Rexroof says, uh, I usually use the external DNS Helm chart. I think Bitnami maintains it. Uh, so that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the more I learn about using Helm to do things, uh, is that's actually probably a very reasonable thing to do. Um, I want to I want to try to go through this tutorial first, uh, just to kind of do the right the good citizenship thing and see this. And as I've already said, that the uh, 7.4 is out of date. This says 7.3 and we should be looking at 7.4. So already that's out of date. So that's a PR I could upstream for these guys or these 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 folks. Um, but you are absolutely right. I should probably try to get this to work, see that it works, wonderful, tear it all down and then go back to um, uh, go, going back to Helm. But don't get me wrong, Rex Roof, you are absolutely right. Helm was probably the more, the, the better way to do this in the long term. Um, but Let's go ahead and grab this first, copy. And we're going to call this um, external DNS.yaml. And then I'll do set paste, insert, put that there. And um, I'm going to just YOLO this because that's what streaming is all about, right? Um, I'm going to put 7.4 there. It's a service. And I want asgarlabs.io, provider DN simple, registry of that. Now I need to find my API key. Um, the last time I did this, I remember that was actually quite hard to find, but it's provided right here. So I am gonna go ahead and pull this off over on another screen so we don't see it. Um, because I actually kind of want to use this for the long term. Um, but so it's under automation, new access token, and then it gives me that. Okay, cool. So if I come over here, go into account, automation, and then that's no longer valid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this over here too. And then I'm going to create a new okay, generate token. And that should be what I need there. Okay, so now I have put that token in there. Um, I have not completely gone off the rails, have I? No, this is all how to create the token still. And it's on the account level, which is what we wanted. And then there's the RBAC. Uh, we're not doing an inject service. So now we should be able to do, okay, apply-f external PNS. Okay, so that is now pushed up in there. Okay, get pods. We're seeing that K logs of this one. And looks like we're up and running. I'm not seeing anything that's saying error or anything. Okay, get deployments. Okay, describe external DNS. Make sure we're all healthy. Oops. Deployment. Everything seems what we're expecting. And of course, there's my key. Ugh. All right, well, that was pointless. No worries, I will go ahead and delete that after we get this working. Um, so,
All right, so we now we need to deploy an Nginx service, just like it says here. Um, so vim v engine x .yaml, set paste input. All right, copy. Put that all there. Nothing looks too out of the ordinary. Alpha host name. So we're gonna do engine x engine x.asgarlabs.io. And that's the annotation to tell it to do that now. So we should be able to do k apply dash f engine x, k get pods. We're creating it. k get service engine x. Okay, and it's a load balancer, got our external IP. So let's just roll the dice, engine x.asgarlabs.io. No, that's not there. Um, Take it. We didn't create an ingress, so there's no ingresses there. Um, what I could try to do is this. Nope. So if I come over here. And simple. Let's see if it actually even pushed it up there first. Doesn't look like it. All right, so why did that not work? We go back to our logs here. Um, did I put the wrong yeah so th thanks Rex Roof you're right um, they do suggest this way instead or no I just put an ingress here Um, let's see here. Uh, one more check inside my records. Uh, that was on my record. I can get rid of that. Uh, oh, wait. Um, wait, what? What's the IP here? Now, so I already have validate external DNS. Where is this even going? But that's not the right IP um, post. As you can see here, that is completely wrong. I don't think, I think that's just an old entry in my DNS import. So let's go ahead and delete that. Don't need that anymore. Um, hmm. Okay, so we are not talking to the right thing. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, did I actually have to put in a vim external DNS? I just have to put the OAuth token in there. Uh, 
source service provider registry text it looks right i think it's got to be i think it's because it did the i didn't do an oauth token i think i just did No, but it's not no auth token. It really bothers me that this it says OAuth here, but it's not. What did I do wrong? Mm, okay. Generate the account. Automation, yes. Create a new token. Okay, that's what I did. Generate a new token. So then I should be able to come over here and do What's our the suggested name of it? It was DNS simple count token equals this. Obviously, you can't see what I'm doing because I'm trying to be secure. Delete that, bring this back over here. So I should be able to do this now. There we go. Okay. So I have absolutely, I, I am talking with a working token in the background. Okay. So now if I come back over here and um external DNS down over here. Change this to this. And A delete deployment or K delete dash F external DNS. That all gets deleted. And then I go ahead and apply this again. Okay, get pods. Here's our external S pod running, controller working again. So, okay, logs this. In the same request timeout, it's not talking to anything. Why are you not talking to anything? Don't you need to talk to see that you can actually get there? Maybe it's because I did it with our back and not without. Let's try that. So go ahead and a delete f external s. Copy or no mv external to external with R back, the external TNS YAML, set paste, grab all this again, copy, insert all this over here. Oops. 
Grab the key again. I'm pretty sure I have R back on this thing now. Do that. Make it pods. Make it pods. Okay. So then I can do. Um, Okay, apply dash f external dns yaml okay. pods and okay logs this exact same thing. Why are you timing out? And so Let's see the provider of DN simple, which is good. Uh, hmm. And we'll check this over here, but it's unlikely that this changed. Yeah, I don't think so. If I go ahead and delete this. I don't have any. Yeah, nothing just jumping out of me there. If I go ahead and Apply dash f external DNS R back creates everything a little bit more securely. K okay, get pods. I do K logs this. It's created, it's running, but I really don't like that error. Um, but we see DN simple again. It looks like it's connected, but it's not actually doing anything. So if I come back over in here and look at my inputs, do I see anything related to this? No. So if I go ahead and a delete dash f nginx, cat nginx, Here's our annotation. We want to create a load balancer. So K apply dash F nginx. Theory was that that was supposed to give me nginx.asgarlabs.io. And it's not. So if I do K get pods, K logs just to see, make sure there's nothing weird going on here. There's a bunch of entry points. Yeah, it's fine. K logs this. And it creates a client that doesn't do anything. What are we doing wrong? Hmm, I am very 
very confused. It's like we're forgetting something obvious here. What am I missing? I have it working. I have a key. I can do this now. Copy to Asgard Labs IO. Copy to Nginx. Not found. And just to verify validate external DNS, not found either. So it's we're not talking to DN simple, but my token works. I'm not talking to DN simple. Why am I not talking to DN? All right, we got to bring enough someone else in here. Let's see here. Hopefully, I can get a friend or two to figure this out. Help me figure this out. Let's see here. Um, maybe let's see, we'll get this working. See if I see if I can get Mofi to join me, because obviously I'm doing something wrong and I don't know what it is. Hey man, give me a second. Uh, copy. Hey. Okay. All right, Mofi, you're you're on live now. Ah. Yeah. There you go. I was not prepared for this. I didn't have my uh, makeup done. <laughs> Thanks. Um, oh, you hop, hop under the Zoom. Hop in the normal Zoom. I'm sharing my screen okay. here. Uh, okay. 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 Makeup as per. Almost gave out your Zoom information. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I do have a what you may call it on it. Uh, oh yeah. We gotta approve people. Yeah. Um, I remember the days when your Zoom was literally always open, like even if you're not there. And I, I actually, one time, like WebEx was being really shitty and I actually had a like small, very small meeting. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what to join the JTS. It's great. Um, but those are those were the good old days that are no longer here. But here we yeah. are. What's happening? Talk to me. Okay, so I finally decided that I need to revisit using um external dns you know mm. i just i should be able to use it without thinking about it because you know the long dns entries are just dumb um because nobody yeah. remembers of those things so i finally was like okay i want to figure this out myself i want to get this done and i i've installed it um i have a working key on it um i walked through the the key process and i walked through 
the tutorial here and I did the um, RBAC one enabled oh. and I did the non RBAC one. You couldn't do both. Oh, sorry, sorry. I tried one, didn't work. Oh, okay. Deleted oh, it. I, I think, okay, is it like writing and deleting stuff for you over and over? No, it's not doing anything. Oh. Okay, get pods. Okay, get pods. So you see, oh, oh, it didn't start. Wait, that wasn't that wasn't there a minute ago. Wow. Oh. Um, oh. Okay, delete dash f external DNS YAML. Hang on, let me just oh, let me start up. again. Oh no, don't open up the file because you know there's a secret in there. But um... okay, so we, we we don't have it anymore. Do you have that now on the file? Uh, so hang on, hang on. Just make sure this is clean. Okay, K, get, O, oh, there we go, nothing there. So K, apply dash F, external DNS, R back, okay? That, right, that has my key in it. Go ahead and do it. K, or watch, cube, CTL. Get, and we're sure okay. we're doing the right secret, we're not. Yes, I'm very sure. Okay, I, made, I made this mistake. All right, let's read, look at the log for external DNS and see what's happening. Oh, hey, logs. This sits here. I don't like this error. Um, and it just sits here, doesn't do anything. I mean, do you have anything that requires external DNS as of now? So I can do um, K or then... Also, let's before you do that on a separate um, window. Can you run a, like a stern so that it keeps watching? Or k logs at dash f. Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a second. Stern, but what should I be looking for? Okay, get pods. Um. On the DNS, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's also logs there and see what's happening. I feel like every few months we just need to like keep coming back and do this. Yeah, no, that, that's like, that's exactly what I'm doing. Cause I was like thinking about the other day. I was like, I don't remember how to do this at all. <laughs> because like I think this is one of those things, right? When it works, it seems silly to redo them because mm -hmm. it's working. Like, why would I waste my time doing them again? Um and I have like a couple of my probably three of my applications where external DNS is set up and it's working and I never go back to them because it's just like, it's working, it's done. Yes, yeah. um, exactly. You, you are absolutely right. And that's exactly how I feel. And <laughs> that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna send the stream to get external DNS and cert manager up and running again, just so I have the video to reference later <laughs> to remember how to do this. Wow. But uh, yeah, then DNS was like, you took me too lightly. Yeah, exactly. It's not even my final form. and getting our ass okay expanded. all right so, let's figure that out okay what's yeah. happening sync cache timed out um okay question is do you have external dns being used in any other cluster no okay um because one thing i found the way external dns kind of keeps track of how to handle the resources is by adding a text record that it looks up on your dns provider to find out what DNS names external DNS owns, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't provide that name yourself, by default, it goes to a name. One of the problems I was having, I had two different cluster with external DNS installed and they perpetually kept deleting each other's changes because both had the same name, mm. right? So that is like the problem I have been didn't ask like multiple times. So I, that's where I go first. Like that's where I start looking at. Now let's, if that is not the case, Let's start figuring out. So, okay, uh, we got a timed out waiting for the condition. What is the condition? Um, I don't see any actual error. Uh, yeah. Okay, what, is, what, what is the print that happened up there? Can you scroll up a little bit? Like the giant struct it printed, it looks like on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, right here. Okay. Info config required timeout, whatever. Control load balancer. Uh, I'm trying to, this looks like literally the main struct for everything. 
Um, DN, DN simple is in here. Um, where is it? I would hope so. Again, I can, can search for it probably. Yeah, I, I saw it earlier. Um, there's All right, provider DN simple. Yep. So that's your provider. Great. Um, and all the other variables is basically set to, okay. Um, and I can tell you there's not a text record on DN simple right now in my, in my thing. Yeah. yeah. It only creates yeah. text record for things. Once you, once external DNS wants to create a record. So when it creates a record, it also creates a text record or any record you create, it creates a, a, another text record with it so that it knows uh, what records external DNS owns. It's a very like a, dumb way to handle storage mm. or also very smart way because external DNS doesn't actually have to store anything itself. It uses your DNS record to store whatever information, whatever metadata needs to in, uh, store. So that tells us a whole bunch of nothing, uh, mm -hmm. which is hmm, service account token. Maybe it's not even started or something, right? I mean, like, again, that's what I'm saying. Now it's up. That's fine, right? It's fine. Let let that. What do you want to do now? Is try to make it create, like you want to. So keep it up there and create the. Um, yeah, let's do the nginx one. Like apply the nginx one. And that's when the end simple should be trying to create the record for us. No, no, no. We're doing a crash loop back off. Ah, all right. Can you describe that? So you can why why it's crash loop backing off. No, uh, it doesn't say. Of course. Um. All right, let me give me some tests. I'm not crazy, right? Like this, th th we're not missing yeah, something obvious here. When it works, it's so easy. Uh, oh, look. I see. I'm just trying to look up my external DNS deployment. I'm trying to sure. make sure that. Okay. Hey. Okay. My external DNS have been running successfully for 84 days. <laughs> uh, okay, I will just um so, all right, so can you make a version of your DNS uh like the deployment for your DNS? without the key and open it? Yeah, give me two seconds. I'll just, just put gibberish on that. Okay. With it. with ER back, right? Whatever deployment you have running right now. I, I'm pretty sure we have, I have the R back too. Uh, or I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, good. Sorry, this account. Another thing is it could be some namespace thing too. The, DNS, oh. I yeah, I did put it in DNS namespace. Yeah, did you change the namespace on the other things? Service account? On the oh, stuff? go you. Yo, I, uh, ha, ha, ha. Really? Um, Looks, no. Subject, service account, namespace default. Uh, Ah, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we well, okay. I mean, it's good to know that external DNS is not broken because I would have to figure out what I'm going to fucking do with my other app. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get this going again. External DNS, R back. Ah! I was trying to be clever by putting my DNS stuff in DNS. Yeah, that's Ugh. what they never do. Yep, never be clever. Never don't be, be clever. clever with computers. Because there. they remember, you know, when they become our overlords, they're like, ah, JJ. <laughs> On uh, November 20th, 2020, you tried to be clever with me. How do you plead? There we go. Oh, wait, no. I just there created the client. It's fine. It didn't fail or anything. All records are uh, Oh, geez. but but one thing you're not doing here, I'll highly recommend doing. Um, hmm. It's not not something that breaks or anything, but that's something. So you add another art called uh, dash dash text dash owner dash ID and give it a name for the application for the cluster at least. Because otherwise, what happens is external DNS by default takes one over whatever name it takes. No matter how many other clusters you deploy, by default everybody has the same name. And your records keep overriding each other. So by as a rule of thumb, I always start putting that as an arg on my deployment for DM simple. Okay, so hang on. So if I bring up the the deployment that we have, by the way, I just created an nginx here and I'm not seeing this update. Um, um okay. Did you did you create an ingress? Ingress is when it updates, right? Or does it well according to the tutorial? Oh, hold on. Hold on, there we go. It just took a second. Yeah, it did it. Right. So let me. Okay. Let this is this is actually a better moment. Go back to your external uh, your DNS provider's UI if you can. I don't think you have secret information there on the UI. Right. Here. Right. Okay. Just refresh the thing. Okay. Right Nginx, you have that. But the funny thing is, scroll down. They added a text record right here. Txt. Yep. That's how external DNS figures out who owns. So by default, the owner's name is default. Oh, so that's what you're saying about that. At right. The, so if you additional. have another cluster that has external DNS installed and you try to change uh, ingress name with that, that's gonna those two are gonna forever gonna keep overriding each other. So, so you were saying I edit in the deployment. Editing the deployment. Yeah. I mean, you should probably delete that nginx so that it gets rid of the record, because otherwise this default owner record would be orphaned and no one would be able to change it because when you change the text owner id external dns no longer tries to track that anymore okay so i'm deleting it now yeah because again external yeah. dns only it doesn't have a database it tracks based on your information um so inside this deployment hang on i'm making sure that i don't have anything okay cool so inside this deployment now so where you have the container args, you have like source in ingress, domain filter, you have a filter there, uh, you have a provider there, right? Mm -hmm. There's another one called dash dash txt dash owner dash id. I'll just send it to you. Okay. Uh, but I can't show that because of my keys in there, right? Yes. So I'm just saying like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. The registry equals text. So then add a new one. You're saying? Yeah, just add this one and whatever application and name you want to give it. Okay, hang on. So this case is like this. So then I change the name uh, to whatever name I want to give it. Yeah. Um kdos.askarlab.io. Yep, yeah, that's it. So now I can go ahead and k apply dash f external DNS RBAP. God damn it. There we go. So now coming over here, right here, it looks like it started it's that. Hidden. You're we are using star, so just now start listening on the next one. Yep. Um I can delete this one because that was no longer just accurate. Think it should be gone if you delete, delete the nginx. Oh, yep. There we go. Yeah. Just now you create the nginx one. Well, I need to wait for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Apply dash f and. But it works very fast, JJ. <laughs> I'm just paranoid, man. <laughs> 
Yeah. Thank you. I was supposed to be able to try to do this myself, and I was like, I couldn't figure it out. And then, of course, it was stupid namespacing. God. Ugh. So frustrating. Yeah, it's either always DNS or always RBAC. Yep. Thinking about it. It should be okay. Well, I mean, do you want to stick around and help me do cert manager now too? Oh yeah. So you, you see go. the owner added K H or Asgard Lipsire. That means every other cluster you do, if you do a different owner, you'll never override each other. Oh, that's wonderful. And that's right here. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I think you got cert manager, JJ. If not, you know where to find me. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> Bye now. All right, bye. Thanks, Muffy. All right. So, again, Muffy being being a badass coming in and being that second pair of eyes for me, always, always helpful. Um, okay, so we got external DNS going. So that means we can easily just throw um, simple URLs up. And um, we never actually did test this. So let me do this now. Um, bring this up, go here, refresh, and there we go. We got Nginx. Perfect. Okay. Next step. Let us get um, Cert Manager up and running. Um, okay. So that's DNS, um, MKDIR, KS, Cert Manager. What I'm going to end up doing is probably putting these together and do some type of like here is what I need to do to build a Kubernetes cluster. But right now, just going to split this up so I don't get confused. Uh, can close you. Here we go. And I can close you too because I don't need you anymore. Um, and I can close you too because. Give me a second, I'm sorry. All right. One of the beauties of being a type one diabetic, your insulin pod or your insulin pump will beep at you pretty regularly. So let me take care of that real fast. If anyone has any questions or thoughts, uh, please don't hesitate to put them in the chat. Um, I am open all ears to hear uh, ideas or thoughts for everybody. All right. See here. Oh, my blood sugar is a little high. All right. Okay. All right. So we got DNS working. Makes life a little bit easier. <laughs> okay, so this is Cert Manager. Um, if you've never seen it before, uh, it is uh, a really it's a it's a wraps up many things um, to deal with SSL certs, or HTTPS certs. Um, it def uh, supports uh, Let's Encrypt out of the box, uh, which is exactly what we want because um, I want to just do Let's Encrypt because I mean that's de facto standard now. Um, we have some pretty straight, uh, it's a pretty straightforward installation as you can see here. Um, so we need to, we could do Helm, um, but uh, just as Rex Roof was mentioning earlier, using Helm to do um, the DNS. Um, I'm just, I, I wanna get it working without the, um, what's we're looking for? The nice to haves, uh, just because it's the only way I can learn is to actually see how this stuff comes together. So we are doing something greater than um, a get version, a version. There we go. Uh, we are running 117.3. So this is above this. Sorry, this one. 
Um, anything important here? That's our next step after verifying. It actually creates its own namespace. Oh, interesting. Um, so go ahead and put that in there. And we're creating our custom resource definitions. There's our namespace and many other things. Okay, get name S. And there is our cert manager. So let's go ahead and NS to cert manager. Okay, get pods. We are running across the board now. Um, we didn't worry about Helm. We could have done this all by hand, but we didn't. So now we're verifying installation and that's the same place. All right. So now you should see all three worrying. Whoop, yep. So I don't need this anymore. Um, you see, server manager, server manager, manager, webhook, pod, and running state. Okay, get pods. And that looks right. Uh, this is required. Following steps confirm server manager setup correctly and basic issuer. Okay, so this one creates a new namespace called server manager test. Um, and then creates a self signed cert and then does a DNS entry for uh, certificate. Um, and this is just to do local um, self cert, but I want to do I want to do this myself too, just to walk through the whole thing. So if I do cat that's resources, that looks good. Um, I am going to go ahead and take it one step farther. And just because consistency, I'm going to do asgarlabs.io. I'm curious to see what happens here. And then k apply dash f test resources. Created our new, oops, new namespace. Created our self signed cert, and our issuer, and our certificate. Okay, cool. So now if we do k describe certificate and cert manager test, we should see the certificate is up to date, issuing the cert, and we actually gave itself a cert. Perfect. So then I can do k delete dash f test resources. Don't need to worry about self-signed search anymore. Okay. We are going to go into configuration now. We are going to go to Acme. Okay. So this Acme issuers, email server URL, more solvers. Below is an example of a simple issuer. This will create an Nginx going to staging. So in theory, we should be able to do no. Cloudflare, DNS zones. All together, um, I think I want to do HTTP ingress provider. I think that's what I want. Acme. Okay, so we want to create an issuer here, and we're doing staging. And then that staging secret resource can be used to source private key. Um, okay, so let's create a um, hack issuer.yaml and a cluster issuer. 
Acme cluster cluster pure.yaml set paste. Actually, not a hiss, and then and the Acme cluster and tissue, Acme staging. This is just staging right now. All right, hang dollar. Okay. Uh, this should be jjhouseguard at gmail.com. Staging. Um, Secret resource that should be used to store account private key. So I believe I changed this myself to staging uh, Acme sure account key. Okay, very clear on what this is. And then you go HTTP. This is the same thing. Okay. So if I go let's double check the tutorials. Issuer, there we go. Let's encrypt staging. Um, okay, so, um, server manager obtains certificate of active protocol. It's which you won't challenge. You provide ownership of the domain and sharing the blah, blah, blah. Following issuer enables HTTP validation. You can read more about the issuer docs. Okay. The Acme server URL is a staging environment. The staging environment does not trust to ensure the verification strict array limits to reduce the challenge of using limits. You should use staging. Makes sense. Um, then when you're ready, you can just change this this to, and so copy Acme to Acme production in, in bank dollar. That is Acme V2 let's encrypt directory. Okay. This to production. Production. There we go. Okay. So the first stage of the Acme protocol for the client is registered to the Acme server. This phase is indicated by the major key. Where your key is stored and is at. Uh, we must provide one or more solvers handing to HTML solver. So we optionally map the real key. Once we've created the issuer above, we obtain the certificate. Okay, so K okay, apply dash F Acme staging. Okay, get certificate. Get uh, certificate requests. We already got our certificate. Uh, okay, get secrets. Okay, um, get secrets. Oh, YAML. That looks like a cert. TLS is there. 
כן. So now, let's do M, um, Nginx, and our labs, hash, certificate.yaml. Paste like this. Copy. Put that there. That's our labs. I O. This should be in DNS namespace. Um, labs. Oh, next staging common name of Asgard next as far as IO units of engine X for labs. Um, lucky go data, uh, whoops for, do you mind filling me in what that was? Is it a typo? I'm a horrible typist. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Apply dash F. Nginx certificate request. Okay. Okay. Get certif certificate requests. Get certificates. Yes, penis. You get certificate. That is false right now. Still pending. Brief reference issuer not found. Issuer cert manager. Hmm. Okay, describe certificate. I think I need to add this. Probably need to put an annotation in for this. Ingress class field? No.
Would it be easier to do this via DNS? Is there a DN simple one for this? I don't know if they have the provider for it. Yeah. You don't have any obvious, okay. Um, all right, so go back to HTTP. Uh, Okay, so Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't do the service type. Yes, cert manager. Um, check me staging. Oh, I did. Oh, it's an ingress. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. Okay. So, okay. Um, NS, NS, PNS, TD slash. Um, MV Nginx, copy Nginx to Nginx, load balance, balance, YAML, and MV Nginx, YAML to Nginx, ingress to YAML, M Nginx, ingress. Uh, You change this to ingress, and I never remember this. That's where Googling comes into play. Uh, Nginx ingress ingress. It's pretty, I just added the service, but I forget what. And that is don't need that anymore. Type ingress and annotations rules HTTP can okay, put this annotation in. Come on. Okay, rewrite that. Paste, spec rules, copy. Half of that, second service. The eighty port number eighty UPI group log car host. Post uh, 
Post engine engine next at Anchor Labs on Hill. I think he's been quotes. Uh, here we go, slash path. I do think I need to create another service. We'll come back to that in a second. Yeah, um, engine, engine X service, Kubernetes. Change this to ingress. What I should probably do is do above. I don't trust myself. And there we go. There's the service copy. We're going to call that what? HTTP port 80. HTTP port 80. Wait, no. Port 3. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. So I create a service call four four three runs on nginx. I tell the ingress to go there, and then I should be able to what am I missing? Class ingress. All right, let's see if this works. Can you get odds? A delete chat nginx load balanced. A apply dash f nginx ingress. I got the wrong version, so I did copy. What did I do wrong? Mm. Maybe that. Nope. 
That is a problem. Now V1, beta 1. Hmm. Why don't you just find one? Because this is obviously taking way too long. <laughs> okay, so this one creates a dummy service called Echo. Create it, deployment, service. Let me create an Echo 2. Okay. Well, this is heavy handed. Let me create the ingress resource. Create the TNSs. Then we cert manager to default. Well, actually, this looks pretty good. I mean, it is heavy handed, like I said, but it'll at least get me to where I want to be and I can Start a vacation. All right, let's try this out. All right. Okay, get pods. A delete dash f nginx ingress. And load balance also. RM ingress. RM. I'm going to keep the load balance just in case. Um, external DNS scrub. External RBAC scrubbed. Um, external DNS YAML. Okay, so now we got that working. Let's go over into the DIR. Um, Here we go. Um, the DIR echo example, echo example, then echo one dot m dot yaml. Always do that wrong. Ah! Paste, put this in here. Okay. 
I'm going to answer it to my own. And DNS still? Don't DNS. They get pods. Yeah, let's just stay in DNS for now. Okay. K apply dash F echo. Okay. They get SVC. Port 80. Perfect. CI echo two dot YAML paste period. Grab this. Okay, apply to that service. There we go. Our two cluster IPs, which is what we wanted. Port 80, good. Okay. Go ahead and just yolo this in. Okay. And we'll verify. I'm running controller. There we go, we're running. So K get odds and ingress engine X. Completed, completed running, perfect. Okay. We should now have services. That looks better with our external IP. Good. Okay. So now we need to create our ingress for echo. Uh, echo ingress and YAML. Set paste. This in here. And I shall do sample.com slash asgarlabs.io. There we go. Now apply k apply dash f echo ingress. And we're created. Okay, we are created. Out of curiosity, being simple and simple. Domains. It hasn't quite done it yet. 
turn. Thirty three. See here. Hmm. You did not see it. Why did external DNS not see it? What did we do wrong? Didn't put the annotations in. That would do it. Copy. Echo. Go ingress. Um, external DNS press annotation. Back to that in a second. Deployment, replica, no. No. Looking for the annotations for ingress. There's our back end. There's our deployment. There's our service. Our service account. Our application. Namespace, service account. Ingress, here we go. Annotation. Name. Nginx. The spec going there.
Let's do this. So then we can do a apply dash app echo ingress. Stern. See if that does it. Checks it every minute. Maybe, maybe. No, it didn't work. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm doing something wrong. That's fine. K to eat I am to do CTL. Delete that go eat dash f or i in A get an S, A delete and an S cert manager. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of everything. Okay. All right, well, that was me trying. Um, thanks for sticking around. Well, at least we got uh, external DNS working. It worked out of the box. I just forgot to put in the right data uh, namespace. Um, Server manager did not play nice with me. Uh, so obviously I need to sit down and think about that a little bit longer. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and poke at it while on stream. Uh, but hopefully uh, you at least see that you should always check your namespaces, uh, especially with external DNS. And then it just kind of works, which is great. Um, so thanks everybody. and. Uh, I'll see y'all next Friday. Bye. I think I'm out.